Good medical morning. This is Watson, and today we're going to look at 10 different types of pimples and blemishes. Let's kick it off with whiteheads. A whitehead is a small whitish elevation of the skin due to retention of sebum and dead skin cells in a skin pore blocked by a thin layer of epithelium. Next up is milia. Milia are small bump-like cysts found under the skin. They're usually one to two millimeters in size. They form when skin flakes or keratin, a protein, becomes trapped under the skin. Milia most often appear on the face, commonly around the eyelids and cheeks, though they can occur anywhere. And my source for that is healthline.com. Number three, dilated pores of Weiner. Click like if you believe that Dr. Sanjali shows the best d -piles on the net. Next is an epidermoid cyst. Epidermoid cysts, also called sebaceous, keratin, or epithelial cysts, are small hard lumps that develop under the skin. Now, let's look at a few moles. I'll bet you know what these are, so I'm not really going to give you a definition. Can you guess number six? There's small, hard, benign growths on the skin caused by a virus. Comment below if you know what these are. Lucky number seven, pustules. A pustule is a bulging patch of skin that's full of yellowish fluid called pus. It's basically a big pimple. Several conditions ranging from something as common as acne to the once deadly disease smallpox can cause pustules. Next up are keloid scars. Keloids are a type of raised scar. They occur where the skin is healed after an injury. They can grow to be much larger than the original injury that caused the scar. Anything that can cause a scar can cause a keloid. Next, ingrown hair. A shaved or tweezed hair that grows back into the skin causing inflammation. Let's look at a few examples. Before I move on to number 10, make sure to pick up a pimple popper kit. My favorite is in the links below. It comes with a lancet and a leather case. I'll show you more about it at the end of the video. Now, number 10, let's go with skin tags. Mostly harmless, these things can be unsightly though. As you look at examples, did we leave anything fun off the list? Leave us some suggestions so we can make part two of this video.